Hey guys, Tammy Trier, TrierWilderness.com. Welcome to my office. I felt very driven and prompted by a beautiful little young lady who is seven years old to share a little something with you today. And I want to just give a little shout out to Bailey and a thank you. Uh, Bailey made this for me. I thought this was just absolutely adorable. She knows I like hearts. She knows I like the cross. So she made this up for me and inside she put all kinds of little jewelry, one of which I have been wearing since she gave it to me. And I just, I thought this was just so precious and it really got me to thinking. And also I saw her this past weekend. She gave me this a couple weeks ago and this past weekend she, she picked me flowers and brought them to me. And you know, we, we tend to forget how powerful, um, those little acts of kindness are. And I really felt prompted to do a video on this and, and just talk with you guys about this because coming off of my illness, um, it was a really, uh, strange time. And, um, when you're going through illnesses, you go through a lot of different emotions. So I wanted to talk about it because I know a lot of people that have chronic diseases, terminal diseases, and um, maybe even just somebody that lost their husband. I met a woman the other day and was able, so excited, I was able to share my testimony about uh, God healing me. And I had walked away from the conversation. It had ended and I was just a couple, like an aisle away and I could hear her sharing her testimony. And she had mentioned that she had lost her husband last year and that she had taken it so much for granted when other people would lose a spouse, you know, that she would go visit them and care for them, but then go on with her life. And she realized so much, um, compassion and, um, gained so much, uh, knowledge and feelings from her circumstances. So I thought that was neat. And it, it, this all kind of plays together in my mind in that. You know, we go through circumstances in our lives so that we are more knowledgeable, richer, uh, closer to God, and able to help other people. Um, you know, we all have our people, you know, those people in our lives, our husbands, our wives, our children, our families, that we cater to and, and cling to and, and have a desire to help. But there's also, there's also other people in this world that we end up connected to and feel a connection with. And I can say that about all the people that have come to me with the same illness that I had, because I have a real passion for wanting to help them now. And I have so many new friends and so many, um, people that are now part of my people. And I just feel it's really important that we remember in life that people are going through circumstances, whether they are, terminally ill, whether they have a really bad illness, whether they have chronic illnesses such as Lyme disease and um, autoimmune diseases. You know, these people, people going through Lyme disease and autoimmune disease and even cancer, they may look good on the outside, but on the inside, they're, they're dying. They're not well. They hurt. They, they feel sick. And they struggle. And I know that for myself this happened to me, but it also happens to a friend of mine that is really struggling really badly with Lyme disease, is that she has made arrangements with people to come visit and she's had to cancel multiple times because of just being that sick. And she's lost friends over it. And that saddens me. I've lost friends through my illness because I couldn't have visitors. I just was so dysfunctional. And, you know, it's sad. So... Bailey inspired this video and has just warmed my heart with her kindness and giving me um, her little gift, which I just think is so cool and will have a permanent place in my office. And I wanted to remind you all to think of people in your surroundings, even new people that you know are hurting, whether they're people you meet in the grocery store, whether they're people you meet at the library or at church or wherever. Um, if you know people that are not well, have lost a spouse, have lost a child, or just maybe suffer from depression, um, and even even just 
on a whim, you know, to do something nice for somebody you know. I have been so blessed to receive so many neat things. I've had many friends reach out to me and share things with me, and I want to do a little shout out. You know, my dear friend Melissa K. Norris sent me her The Made From Scratch Life, which is an awesome, awesome book. Hopefully you can see that the lighting is pretty bad. And my other wonderful friend, Vicki Lynn Haycraft from realfoodliving.com, sent me her Wrapping It Up book, which is amazing. It's a great cookbook. And also her uh, Naturally Healthy Cuisine. And I encourage you to check those ladies out. Melissa, you can find at melissaknorris.com. Melissa sent me seeds. I've had another wonderful friend, Connie Jo, who sent me seeds. And my friend, Michelle from Michigan, who sends me things from time to time. And my beautiful friend, Carolyn and Eileen, who send me goodies. Those are all blessings. And, and I know for me how much it warms my heart to get a gift and just know you're thought of. And I want to encourage you guys to do the same thing. You know, so many of us don't even know what this is anymore. I challenge you. Do you remember what this is? It's a card. And so many people, you know, we used to, that used to be a, a big thing. And, and I've gotten away from it myself. Um, but receiving a traditional handwritten card, I think is really special. And, um, there's also online programs. I actually utilize one because I, when I wasn't able to get out to the post office, I'm still able to send cards to my family and friends. And, uh, you can look that up by going to treyorwilderness.com slash send out cards. I'll have the link in the description. But, you know, if you can't take time out of your day to go visit with a friend or um, call them, I know our lives are busy. Mine is busy too. But to pop a card in the mail with a couple lines on it or go online and type up a card, the send out cards link that I, I provided for you, it costs maximum 66 cents for a card. They will mail it and address it and post put postage on it and send it for you. Uh, so it's 66 cents plus the, the stamp. And you could change lives that way. I know my friend that is suffering from Lyme disease, and she is really suffering. And she has been for several years now. And, you know, something that simple just makes her day. And and I want to encourage us as, as people to go back to our roots. You know, that was something that our ancestors did regularly. They'd visit and, and bring meals to neighbors that were ill or just had babies, you know, and, and the communities would get together and help people. You know, there's a lot of sad people in this world. And, so, and you know what? Even if there's absolutely nothing wrong with you, it's still nice to get a card and know you're thought of or some kind of a kind gesture. You know, so if you've got a lot of people in your life that you enjoy reaching out to or you enjoy checking in on, I highly encourage it. And if you know someone that is struggling, all the more reason to reach out to them and just provide them with an act of kindness. And like I said, there's many ways we can go about it in this busy world. But I highly encourage you to do that and to pay it forward and, and, you know, like I mentioned with the woman that I met, um, Ethie, she lost her husband and, and her realizing how much, you know, people were hurting and how she had just went on with her life. You know, we have to go on with our lives, but during our lives, why couldn't we pop a card in the mail or send a text message or send a Facebook message or whatever, send an email and just let people know that we're thinking of them. Because in those dark times, it is nice to know that you're loved. It is nice to know that people are thinking of you or praying for you especially. And and that was really helpful for me during my illness. And I just wanted to encourage you folks. Now, Bailey gave this to me just because. Bailey was over here at my house with her family. And she and I enjoyed a cup of tea and played a game of skip bow. Or uh, phase 10, I think it was. One or the other. And we had a really good time, and she just felt compelled when she left to do that for me. So it's it's just random. It's those random acts of kindness that can be so powerful. It brings tears to my eyes. She's a sweet little kid, and I really enjoy her company. But I wanted to put this out there today because 
I just feel it's something that we should remember. It's what we're called to do, is to look out for one another. And like I said, it saddens me when people walk away from those that are struggling because they don't understand. We have to show a little bit more compassion and show a little bit more grace and try to understand that sometimes people aren't being ignorant, they're just suffering. So anyway, those are my thoughts for today, and I encourage you to do acts of kindness. Even if it's random and it, you're at the coffee shop and you buy the coffee for the person behind you. That is just, it's, it's powerful. And it's a wonderful way to make connections and just brighten people's lives. Everybody has a story. And what their book on the outside says or what their cover says, you know, may be very different than what they're, what they're feeling inside. So sharing something as simple as a smile can be powerful every day. So just think about that throughout your, your daily lives and, and consider being um, a gifter and someone that's paying it forward. So till our next video, you guys take care. God bless. And thanks, Bailey. Love you, girl. <laughs>